Jujutsu Infinite just got its biggest update yet. Like, the amount of content in this update is insane. And today we're gonna be checking out every single rework, the new ability Hydrokinesis, and the rebirth system. Alright, starting off with the new curse technique. I'm just gonna try spinning for it, and we also have a new spinning animation. That's pretty cool. Yo, <laughs> what? <laughs> we just got it. I, I literally don't okay. care. I'll take it. Now, I've seen images of the domain, and it looks so good. So the first move is Tsunami. Oh, and it applies like debuffs. As you can see, they have like this water effect. So you move slower, and apparently you take more damage, I think. But next we have Water Jet. Ooh. Yo! Bro, that is literally Kamehameha. Alright, then we got Piranha Swarm. Ah, I'm assuming the buffed version of this is in the domain, like when you send out those big fish. And next we have Eel Bind, which is close ranged. So as you can see, they are unable to move for like until you hit them apparently. But next we have Death Swarm. I'm gonna back up. Let's see. Oh Yo! Okay, that was cool. I did not expect that to happen. Alright, now we have the domain, and let's also check out the new domain clash mechanic. So, if he activates his domain, and I do mine. So, instead of being keyboard presses, now you have to, like, time this perfectly. I'm assuming you have to hit the purple to get, like, better results. And, yeah, it's pretty difficult, actually. And we got it. Okay, look at this domain. That looks cool. Look at this map as well. What about Death Swarm? Does this get like buffed? Okay, yeah, this is definitely buffed. And okay. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time. So I'm gonna see if the moves get buffed. So Water Jet, that's the same. Um, Death Swarm has obviously has way more vicious now. Now, you can still block them, so it's not that overpowered. And I'm pretty sure this is also supposed to, like, slow them down and give them that watery debuff. Um, regardless, like, it's pretty overpowered. Now, the first thing is the reincarnation. So, if we go over here to Kenny, which I'm pretty sure you can tell who this is. So, if I were to reincarnate, I will lose my level, my mastery for each, like, innate, my techniques, my grade, and stats. Alright, I guess I'll do it on my Hakari build. And we get a confirmation here, and sure, why not? Boom. Bam. What the... Oh, no. Nah. Okay. And we get sealed. Okay, that's pretty interesting. 200 years later. That was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Now I have to repurchase. Oh my god, that is going to cost so much. But let me see, so we were supposed to get- here it is, Dark High and Road. Okay, it's- it's literally just grip, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this does anything. The second rebirth gives you this title, and then we have the Na I'd Win title, and the last title is Stand Proud. Yeah, for reincarnation number 5, we get this Lobotomy Volcano. Stand proud, Sukuna. You are strong. Yo- what the? Why do I have my cookie there? And it's not even in his mouth. It's 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 on his nose. And lastly, for the seventh reincarnation, yeah, it's legendary. So I'm expecting like ten people to get this. All right, now for Toji's rework, and then we'll check out Sukuna and Gojo's reworks. So firstly, we have a new inventory curse. Now what this does is it lets you equip any of the three legendary weapons. And then if I wait for 7 seconds, I can swap to another weapon. And then lastly, we have Playful Cloud. Now it would be cooler if you could like pick which one you want to equip, but regardless, this allows you to use like three weapons at once. Now for the actual rework. So firstly, we have Zed, which I'm pretty sure is the same. And Manic Barrage, now it's like a little bit different. Next we have an actual new move, which is Face Grab. Now, if I to do that, we teleport to them and then slam them down like that. And we also have Pavement Slam, which literally just like slams the ground. And next we have Blitz, which got a rework. So if I do it, look at this, we like charge around. 
And then we still do like the kick down like in the previous version, but now we can actually hit way more people. And next is the coolest move, which is Shrapnel Barrage. Look at this. You like hit multiple debris into your enemy. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the same. Correct me if I'm wrong. But now as for the weapons, let me just see. Did they get any changes? Okay. What about Soul Stream? Ooh, now we have Inverted Spear. Let's see. What about Sever? And then lastly, we have the iconic throat gouge. Now this has two moves, which is playful strike. And also chain to drop kick. Look at this. That is clean. And what about the invasion? So now it's like an icon. Oh, okay. We just like teleport in here now. I'm pretty sure it used to be a move, but... Oh, and they also added veils. So if I cast a veil right now... This lasts for 60 seconds and it goes over this huge area. Now anyone in this veil is unable to escape for this entire duration. It basically means you're gonna have to duke it out until either of you dies. So Sukuna also got some changes. So this mantle, this is different now. And we also have Cleave, which got changed. Look at that, it's like an invisible slash almost. We also have the flame arrow. Which I think got changed a little bit. And then the switch. Oh, okay. Now it doesn't take like 20 seconds. But now for the domain. Let's check this out. Yup. This is way cooler now. Look at this! Oh my god. You hear like screams of despair? Bro, this is so cool. And it's pretty much unavoidable because that slashing stuff guard breaks. So when you're caught in that domain, it is game over. There is nothing you can do. Alright, now I'm pretty sure Gojo's domain got changed a little. Yo! Hold on! That is way cleaner. Okay, and now there's actually like a visual indicator that they're unable to move. Because they're like thinking about stuff. Alright, now there's way more stuff in this update. Like there's raids and then there's like story missions. And those game ones are actually pretty fun. Like I might make a second video if you guys want me to on that. But for now, I'm gonna end the video here. See ya.